welcome to the Rhode Island College commencement of the class of 2022. Our procession is about to begin and we ask that you kindly take your seat. Thank you. At this time, please join me in welcoming the golden anniversary class, celebrating 50 years from their commencement in 1972.
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like now to introduce the President's Platform Party and to bring in our platform is Aaron Lindo, alumnus of Rhode Island College and member of the Rhode Island Highland Pipe Band. Leading our platform is May Spearer, Dr. Marianne Raimundo, Chair of the Council of Rhode Island College and Associate Professor of Management and Marketing. It is my honor and my privilege to introduce our distinguished platform for today's joyous celebration. Led by Frank Sanchez, President and Presiding Officer of the Ceremony. Helen Tate, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. The Honorable Governor, Daniel McKee. United States Senator, Jack Reed. United States Congressman, James Langevin. Lieutenant Governor for the State of Rhode Island, Sabina Matos. Commissioner of Post-Secondary Education, Shannon Gilkey. Our guest speaker for today, Maria Duchamp. Honorary degree recipient, Louis Massiano. Tom Ahern. Dennis Duffy, Chair on the Council of Post-Secondary Education. Kimberly Conway Dumpson, Vice President for College Advancement and External Relations and Executive Director of the Rhode Island College Foundation. The Rhode Island Attorney General, Peter Narona. Rhode Island Treasurer Seth Magazina, Rhode Island Board of Education Representatives Colleen Callahan, Tammy Warner, Marta V. Martinez, Dean Earl Simpson, Dean Jashuri Nemagata, Dean Janine Dingus Eason, Dean Carolyn Masters, Dean Alema Karim. Dean of Graduate Studies, Leslie Schuster. Stephen J. Netter, Vice President for Administration and Finance. Ducha Hang, Interim Vice President for Student Success. Anna Cano Morales, Associate Vice President for Community Equity and Diversity. Jennifer Giroux, Associate Vice President for Professional Studies and Continuing Education. Clark Green, Executive Director of Strategic Initiatives. The Honorable Mayor Charles A. Lombardi. The Honorable Mayor Maria Rivera. Holly Shadoyan, Vice President of Undergraduate Affairs. Joan Daigle, Associate Dean of Faculty of Arts and Sciences. The President of the Rhode Island College Alumni Association, Michael Smith. Representing the Class of 1972, Alfred Betancourt. Alan Chilly, Chair of the Board of Directors of the Rhode Island College Foundation. Casey Boglin, Senior Class President, Class of 2022. Darcy Dubois, Dean of Students. Tamika Hardman, the College's Registrar. To appropriately honor and respect today's graduates, we ask that you silence your cell phones or any cellular devices at this time. Please join me in welcoming the Chair of the Council of Rhode Island College, Dr. Marianne Raimundo. Good morning! President Sanchez, the class of 2022 is ready to commence. At this time, I invite graduating seniors Lillian I. Britsky, Samantha L. Cello, Roxana F. Pierre, and William M. K. Peterson to come forward to sing our national anthem.
Please stand as you are able. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets ran. Singing in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled Banner yet wave O'er the land of the free Thank you, thank you so much, Ms. Brisky, Ms. Cello, Ms. Pierre, and Mr. Peterson. To all of our distinguished guests, members of the faculty, staff, alumni, and administration, to our parents, spouses, relatives, and friends of our degree recipients, and those who are watching via live stream from around the world, good morning and welcome to the 168th commencement exercises of Rhode Island College. Let me be among the first to say congratulations to the graduating class of 2022. The entire college community could not be more proud of our 1,508 graduating seniors for their accomplishments, their brilliance, their resilience, and now success in receiving their college degrees. The last two years, no, without question, has been challenging, but we are here together in person celebrating you. I am deeply grateful to our extraordinary faculty staff and administration for their tireless support, their teaching, mentoring, encouraging, and guiding of our students in pursuit of this very day. Please join me in thanking these remarkable educators. Thank you. Thank you. To the parents, family, friends, and significant others, I admire you for walking alongside your graduates towards this very, very special moment. Your words of encouragement, your timely guidance, your unwavering love has made all the difference. Will the graduates of 2022 please give a big, big round of applause to your greatest supporters. Please give them a big round of applause. Absolutely. This morning, we will hear from Ms. Casey Boglin, our 2022 Senior Class President. Thank you so much, Casey, for your impressive leadership and energy in representing this year's class. And thank you to Mr. Alfred Betancourt, who will bring greeting on behalf of Rick's Class of 1972, truly a golden anniversary class. I am delighted to recognize Rick alumna, Dr. Maria Ducharme, who will deliver this year's commencement address. As the current president and CEO of the Merriam Hospital, Maria knows firsthand the boundless and bold possibilities of your Rhode Island College degree. Thank you so much, Maria, for joining us this morning. To our graduates, 
Today, you join more than 67,000 alum in this state and around the world who are boldly and forever improving our communities, this state, nation, and the world. Our graduates this morning are well prepared to strengthen our systems of health care, design innovative learning environments for all of our children, transform business practices for emerging industries, and ultimately build a more vibrant and a more forward-thinking Rhode Island. In fact, 88% of our graduates are from Rhode Island, and 70% of our graduates will stay in Rhode Island and become employed. Many of them are going to raise families while strengthening and fueling our economy. No other four-year college or university in the state can compare with these outcomes. For generations, the value proposition of Rhode Island College degree has been remarkable. In fact, just this past year, Rhode Island College made Money Magazine's top 10 best colleges in New England among medium and small institutions. More than an unbeatable return on investment, the Rick experience has allowed students to realize their strengths, their talents, their passions by taking full advantage of the collegiate experience. Just like biology graduating senior Chelsea Yang, who has excelled intellectually, academically, and athletically during her time at Rick. Through her research in our biology department's fish lab, Chelsea may discover advancements to help those who lose their motor skills with Parkinson's disease, or enhance movement for those who use prosthetics. Her research is a tremendous testament to her desire to better the lives of others. But you know what? Chelsea didn't stop there. She was also the 2022 recipient of the college's Helen M. Murphy Award. This award recognizes Chelsea as arguably the best thrower in Rhode Island College women's indoor and outdoor track field history earning three-time All-American NCAA Division III honors. Absolutely. Absolutely. And named to the United States Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association Mideast Women's Field Athlete of the Year. Congratulations, Chelsea, for being bold in your Rick experience. Providing leadership and making a difference in the lives of others is also evident with graduating School of Business senior Alex Ortiz. As a student who served in our armed forces, Alex worked to reestablish the student veterans organization on campus and connected student veterans to programs offered through campus, state, and federal agencies. Alex was nominated for the Student Veteran of the Year out of 1,500 student veterans nationwide, making it to the top 10 finalists. This was the first time, this was the first time a student from the state of Rhode Island had been nominated for the Student Veteran of the Year. Alex was a featured speaker at the National Conference with over 1,800 attendees and selected as the 2022 Student Veteran of America, Veterans of Foreign Wars Legislative Fellowship. As a result of this semester-long fellowship, his research is being drafted right now into a federal bill that could directly impact the benefits of over 750,000 student veterans nationwide and over 1,200 student veterans right here in the state of Rhode Island. At 30, yes, absolutely. At 37 years old, Alex is the father of two and getting ready for law school this coming fall. Let us honor Alex and all of our men and women who've served in the armed forces. There are hundreds of student stories of triumph, 
of accomplishment, of transformation at this morning's commencement. Rhode Island's college has a long and compelling history of improving lives in Rhode Island. Nearly 50% of our graduates are the first in their family to attend and now graduate from college. All of you have a story to tell. You've certainly grown during your time at Rhode Island College and taken a significant step towards becoming the person that you were meant to be. Our graduates have challenged themselves both inside and beyond the classroom. You have led organizations, you've made research presentations, you've directed plays, traveled to another country, changed our campus for the better, been a role model for our, your peers, and in some cases, your children. And in the spirit of learning, you have found your voice. You have represented Rhode Island's college as driven students, as scholars, as athletes, as artists, performers, innovators, service providers, and community leaders. From our youngest graduate at 20 years of age, to our super senior at age 68. I have no doubt, that is right. I have no doubt your RIC degrees will be a powerful catalyst, propelling you boldly forward for many, many years to come. To the class of 2022, congratulations and job well done. At this time, we will have remarks from Governor Daniel McKee. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome Governor McKee to the podium. Governor. President Sanchez, thank you so much. And thank you for your leadership over the last several years. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Uh, it is truly an honor to be here on behalf of the people of the state of Rhode Island and being here with my fellow uh, general officers along with our congressional leadership. It has been a challenge, but you've met that challenge. It's been a challenge for the state of Rhode Island, but we've met that challenge. We couldn't have done that without the leadership in uh, Washington with Senator Reed, Congressman L uh, Langevin, who's a Rhode Island College graduate as well. <laughs> but we have met the challenge. First in vaccinations in the country. We're leading the Northeast on our economy. And it's a perfect timing for the class of 2022 to enter and to begin their careers because the class of 2022 has met that challenge over the last two years, going through a pandemic that we hope that we never see again in our lifetimes. Your fellow classmates who were with you on the journey through those late nights and the early mornings, the exams, the papers you shared, the ups and downs of your four years at Rhode Island College, your professors who taught you challenged you and guided you. You questioned them and you learned from them. Then there's your family and your loved ones who supported you during your time at Rhode Island College, during a crisis that we have never seen in our lifetimes. It is a tribute to their families who help you juggle your classes helped you do your studying, and just faced everyday life during, a, during this time frame where Rhode Island has been challenged to the extent, but we've been resilient, and that we're filled with opportunity right now. One of the people that I worked with during the transition uh, to move us on vaccinations and the health was Dr. Ja. We all know Dr. Ja, we see him on TV, he was our go-to person, my go-to person, relative to kind of resetting the strategies that we were using on addressing the pandemic, along with our great staff that we had at the Department of Health, our, 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 um, all the people that have been involved with, you know, really meeting that challenge. But I was at a, 
a children's mental health forum. He had just flown in from the Vatican uh, because he's a world-renowned leader and we've been fortunate to have him in our, in our world over the last two years. But he was asked this question. He was asked, when are we going back to 2019? And he thought, and this was a moment that really crystallized to me where we're headed in Rhode Island. We're never going back to 2019. When you go through a pandemic, a worldwide event like this, a depression, a Great Depression, or a world war, you never go back to where you were when that started. In our choice, we get to choose whether we go to a better spot. I believe with the class of 2022, you're going to play a role to bring us to a far better spot in the state of Rhode Island. So congratulations to everyone that is graduating today. We are very, very excited, filled with anticipation about how you're going to help us get to that better spot, to this place where Rhode Island really meets its potential, its full potential, and we cannot do that without the young people doing their best every day. And that's what I ask people that work with me, and I ask that of myself. Do your best every day, class of 2022. Know that your best is hard work, and know that you are the only one that knows whether you gave it your best. But collectively, if you do, we will get to that better spot. Be proud of yourself. A Rhode Island College graduate means something. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Go out there, do your best, bring us to that better place, and reap the rewards of all your hard work. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you so much, Governor, for those encouraging words. You will not find a more determined, a more committed, more resilient group of graduates than right here at Rhode Island College. Only in Rhode Island are we able to have such a personal relationship with the members of our federal delegation. Each of them finds time in their busy schedules to connect with their constituents, and we at Rhode Island College are grateful for their leadership and their support. At this time, I'd like to thank Senator Jack Reed and Congressman James R. Langeman for their attendance today. And at this time, I'd like to ask Senator Jack Reed to come forward for remarks. Senator Reed. Congratulations, class of 2022. You have come a long way, weathered a once in a century pandemic and overcome many other challenges to reach this important day. And you are joining a pantheon of Rhode Island College alumni who have made a difference in our state, a real positive difference from the classrooms of our schools, to the playing fields, to our health care, so many different ways. Alumni like today's commencement speaker, Maria Duchamp, a leader in health care, or my friend and colleague, Jim Langevin, who has served Rhode Island with extraordinary distinction and the nation as a member of the United States Congress. Thanks, Jim, very much. Or Lou Marciano, a teacher, coach, and veteran who is receiving an honorary degree in public service. Indeed, Rhode Island College, more than any other institution in this state, is, I believe, the backbone of the state. The nurses, the teachers, those people that come forward every day to help others achieve their great potential. And I know that the members of the class of 2022 will also make your mark on Rhode Island and the nation. I'm proud to join President Sanchez, the Rhode Island College faculty and staff, and all the family and friends gathered today to celebrate your achievement. Indeed, without the support of your families and your friends, you would not be here today. You owe them a debt which you will repay 
as you pay it forward and help others achieve their goals. We salute your resilience, your tenacity, your perseverance, your dedication. We look forward to what your future holds. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you so much, Senator Reid, for your inspiring words, and thank you for your continued support of college students in Rhode Island and beyond. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to ask Congressman Langevin to come forward to offer remarks. Congressman Langevin. Well, good morning, everyone. What a pleasure it is for me to be here today and honored to be with graduates of my alma mater, this year's graduated class of 2022 and their loved ones. Thank you, President Sanchez, for your leadership uh, and Rhode Island College faculty and staff for inviting me to speak with you today. I want to take a moment to also recognize my colleagues in government, Senator Reid, Governor McKee, Lieutenant Governor Matos, Treasurer Magaziner, Attorney General Nerona, and Mayor Rivera, but most especially, I want to say congratulations to the graduating class of 2022 and your families. You did it. <laughs> Let me also take a moment to congratulate the honorary degree recipients uh, and this year's uh, commencement speaker, Maria Ducharme. And uh, I know we all look forward to hearing your words later this morning. But let me say, my friends, 32 years ago, I sat where you're sitting now for my own graduation from Rhode Island College. And what a proud day that was. And while I don't quite remember everybody who spoke at my ceremony, I can tell you that the memories and friendships that I formed here on campus have stuck with me throughout my entire life. Rhode Island College is a special place, and I love this school. Personally, I think it's Rhode Island's best kept secret where you can get the best bang for your buck out of any school in the country. Rick boasts a world-class faculty, phenomenal academic programs and curricula, and a culture in which everyone is encouraged to strive for academic excellence and to be their best. It was here that I learned how to lead when my classmates elected me to serve as their student body president. And I was honored to have their trust and that they placed their trust in me as their advocate. And I was proud to represent their interests to the best of my ability. And I, I look back on my own path to adulthood. And in many ways, it was my formative years that I spent at Rick that really did make the most, it mean the most. Without a doubt, my Rick education laid the groundwork for me to earn a master's degree at Harvard, get elected to the state legislature, become the youngest Secretary of State in Rhode Island's history, and then go on to serve for 22 years in the United States Congress as the first quadriplegic ever elected to that body. Class of 2022, it's no secret that your college years have been unprecedented and challenging beyond words. First dealing with a pandemic, and then in addition to balancing your academic responsibilities, some of you were raising families and working multiple jobs. I know this firsthand because one of the graduates among you today is among a member of my personal staff, Jeff Peralt, who's graduating today with a degree in business management. Jeff, are you here? Stand up. Where are you? Congratulations to you and to all of your classmates. Let me say that throughout everything, you were all flexible and brave, and you never gave up. That tenacity carried you here to today, your graduation day. And we are all immensely proud of you, and you should be so very proud of yourselves. As I close, I leave you with one piece of advice. You will now enter the workforce armed with a Rick degree and a world-class education. From here on out, 
You can achieve anything that you set your mind to, and I encourage you to set your goals as high as you wish. And it's my hope, and I know that the governor would agree that you stay in Rhode Island and put those skills to work right here, helping to grow our economy, because we need you. Help us to continue driving our state and our economy forward so that Rhode Island remains the place that we all know and love and are so proud to call home. And I know that whatever path you take, you will make a difference in the world. So congratulations, class of 2022. Good luck and God bless you. Take care. Thank you so much, Congressman. At this time, we'd like to acknowledge certainly your alumni status and recognize your years of service to Rhode Island College, the state, and the nation. Now, I would like to introduce Dennis Duffy, Vice President of Regulatory Affairs for Energy Management Incorporated and Chair of the Council on Post-Secondary Education. Mr. Duffy has been a stalwart supporter of higher education in the state and of Rhode Island College, and we thank him for his leadership. Mr. Duffy. To all of the graduates, I offer hearty congratulations. When you look back upon your Rick experience, it's my hope that you will remember to give yourself credit for your perseverance through extraordinary times. Your academic achievement during this moment in world history is a victory for you, for your loved ones, for your teachers, and for all who helped and sacrificed during this unprecedented era of disruption. We celebrate your achievement. Wherever your journey takes you from here, you will face tough decisions and challenges await you. When those moments confront you and give you pause, look back to today, because today you have passed the test of perseverance. You have demonstrated your strength to achieve, and your strength and perseverance will help you face down the challenges that you encounter in life. On behalf of the Rhode Island Board of Education, I extend our congratulations to you and to all those who have helped you along the way. Congratulations and enjoy this special day. Thank you, Mr. Duppy. And now for the presentation of our honorary degrees. Now an honorary degree is one of the most highest honors a college can bestow. This year, we recognize two individuals for their outstanding contributions. Please join me in welcoming Tom Ahern and Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Helen Tate, to the podium for the presentation of our first honorary degree. Thank you, President Sanchez. Upon recommendation of the Honorary Degree Committee, it gives me great pleasure to present an Honorary Degree of Public Service posthumously to Simon Juayo. Simon Juayo was a renowned fundraiser, author, mentor, teacher, and activist who passed away unexpectedly in May of 2021. Ms. Shuayo had an incalculable impact on nonprofits both in Rhode Island and around the world. In Rhode Island, she served her community through work with countless local organizations. She founded Rhode Island Arts Advocates, the first statewide arts advocacy organi organization, and the Women's Fund of Rhode Island, a social justice organization committed to equity for women and girls. Ms. Shuayo taught in the master's program for philanthropy and development at St. Mary's University of Minnesota. She also served in the nonprofit studies program at Wide Rhode Island College since 2006. Until her untimely passing, 
Ms. Juayo served as an active volunteer on the Professional Development Committee for the Association of Funding Professionals, Rhode Island, focusing her energies on building a pipeline for the next generation of Rhode Island's nonprofit professionals. In particular, those like herself who attended state institutions of higher education. President Sanchez, Ms. Juayo exemplified the coveted qualities represented by the honorary doctorate degree, and thus, it is my honor to present Mr. Tom Mahern to accept the degree for the Doctor of Public Service on her behalf. By virtue of the authority vested in me and with the concurrent action of the faculty of Rhode Island College and the Rhode Island Board of Education, I hereby confer upon Simone P. Zuayo the posthumous degree Doctor of Public Service. Will Louis A. Marciano and Provost Tate please join me at the podium for the presentation of the second honorary degree. Thank you, President Sanchez. Upon recommendation of the Honorary Degree Committee, it gives me great pleasure to present an honorary degree of public service to Louis A. Marciano. Mr. Marciano has been a proud member and supporter of the Rhode Island College community for more than 60 years. The son of Italian immigrants, he was born in Providence in 1924 and attended Mount Pleasant High School. After serving his country in the Navy during World War II, he attended Arnold College in Connecticut, earning a bachelor's degree in science and physical education and becoming the first in his family to graduate from college. He earned a Master of Education in School Administration from RIC in 1960. Mr. Marciano's long career supporting the health and education of Providence students began back at Mount Pleasant High School, where he served as science department chair as well as coach to championship wrestling and football teams. He later ascended to director of health and physical education for the Providence Public School Department and chief of health promotion for the Rhode Island Department of Health. Mr. Marciano's service to Rhode Island College includes 49 years and counting on the board of directors of the Rhode Island College Foundation. He received the college's Man of the Year Award in 1995 and the Alumni Association Service Award in 2005. In November of 2021, he was selected by a delegation from the college to lay a wreath at the tomb of the own unknown soldier at Arlington National Cemetery. President Sanchez, Mr. Marciano exemplifies the coveted qualities represented by the honorary doctorate degree, and thus, it is my honor to present Louis A. Marciano for the Doctor of Public Service degree at Rhode Island College. Yeah, got it. By virtue of the authority vested in me and with the concurrent action of the faculty of Rhode Island College and the Rhode Island Board of Education, I hereby confer upon you, Louis A. Marciano, the degree Doctor of Public Service.
At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker. Dr. Maria Ducharme currently serves as president of the Merriam Hospital, where she has spent her entire professional career. Maria has led some of the hospital's most ambitious and successful efforts to achieve excellence in the quality of patient care. Maria earned a Doctor of Nursing Practice from Massachusetts General Hospital Institute, Institute of Health Professions, a Master's Degree in Nursing from the University of Rhode Island, and a Bachelor of Science Degree in Nursing from Rhode Island College in 1987. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Maria Ducharme. Thank you, President Sanchez, for that lovely introduction. And good morning, everyone. Morning, students, friends and family, and faculty. It's an absolute honor and a privilege to deliver this address to my alma mater, the school that launched my career in nursing and has taken me do down a highly rewarding career path. I once sat where you all are this morning for Rhode Island College commencement exercises and would never have envisioned myself here 35 years later. I'm truly humbled. The foundations that Rhode Island College provided will remain with me always, as they will with you. As I thought about my remarks for today, my initial inclination was to try and stay as far away from the last couple of years and all the difficulties they presented. It's the future that's on all of your minds right now and where you'll go next with your knowledge and your passion. But I realized, and as you've heard this morning, to ignore how you got here, to downplay the challenges you overcame and the successes you achieved would be an enormous disservice to you. Today is a celebration of the past several years, a celebration of your academic accomplishments, your growth as an individual, the lifelong friends that you have made, and the deep relationships that you have forged with fellow students, as well as faculty and mentors. We are all formed by our past experiences and the manner in which we deal with challenges and adversity. You each overcame the usual obstacles that can stand in the way of achieving goals. And on top of that, you had to navigate all the unique challenges of the pandemic. Now you, and really all of society, but in many ways, you more notably stand at this critical juncture. To be entering this period of your life at a time when the world is presenting us with this incredible platform to strengthen our humanity, to right our wrongs, and to take advantage of the opportunity to address entrenched conventions that may have previously prevented forward movement is really exciting. Critical junctures allow us to break away from the past and imagine a new world. So now it is for you to begin to imagine and propose what that might look like. The pandemic highlighted the inequalities and the threats to our society. You are positioned well to address those threats. However, it will take fortitude. Because while many are yearning for a simpler time, for some, that's a yearning for the past. We need a forward-facing response to our current environment and are counting on you to be the champions of our future. You are the generation of students, not just the generation, but the generation of students which will change the world we know today. You will not just change your world, your friend's world, your family's world, but I'm confident that you will change the greater world. Some of you may do this in a very large and visible manner, and others in a quiet and more behind the scenes manner, but you are action oriented and will be integral in helping people rise together. You're probably asking what my beliefs are based upon, so let me tell you. The last few years has taught all of us, but most uniquely, those that were actively thinking, imagining, studying, studying history, human behavior, science, 
could be political science or healthcare science or technology. But you not only lived the past few years as we all did, but you studied them. Your minds were open and inquiring with a focus on inclusion and innovation. You were not allowed to ignore the environment, an environment that even in the few years before the pandemic, your formative years, saw more political, social, and economic unrest than in previous time periods. Rather than ignoring, you were provided a chance and were motivated to deepen your advocacy for societal justice and improvements. The pandemic has caused chaos and suffering, but it's also caused us to consider who we are, what we value, and perhaps most saliently, how our lives and behaviors impact others. In addition to heartache, we have seen such incredible kindnesses and acts of humanity. As a nurse, the courage, compassion, and selflessness that I have had the privilege of witnessing has been inspiring. The value of connection has been heightened as the absence of those connections were so jarring. People have found new ways to connect and support each other, and there's an increasing level of awareness of our interdependency. The collective wisdom and the motivation and accountability forged as a member of a larger community allows us to accomplish things that previously may have felt out of reach. Think about it. In healthcare, we went from knowing little about a highly transmissible virus to developing systems to reduce its spread and developing new treatments to save lives. Unnecessary hierarchies were eliminated as we all learned and worked together with an aligned purpose. I don't think any of us will ever think of the word community in the same way again. At the same time we're all learning how to care for and consider our impact on others, we are learning that we must also care for ourselves. We must be permitted, encouraged, and even incentivized so that we have the energy to care for our community. What does caring for self look like? It isn't only exercise and good eating and preventative medical care. Self-care is about being able to connect with joy, to prioritize emotional, physical, and your spiritual well-being. Self-care is about being present for yourself as well as for others. As we learn how to regard differences and focus on being a better society, turn that lens back onto yourself as well. Focus on what differentiates you and focus on that in a positive manner. Sometimes it's tempting to try to change yourself, to fit into someone else's ideals, or to be like others that are highly successful in their field or their lives. But even when those are admirable goals, if they're not in your area of interest or passion, this may not bring you the success as it has to others. So be yourself, be authentic, and that's when you will be at your best. That doesn't mean you don't have to put yourself outside your comfort zones and take risks, but it does mean that you focus and reflect on what you know to be right and good. The goals that speak to your passion are those that should guide your decisions. I have few regrets about not achieving an established goal. However, I do have regrets if I have sacrificed my principles to achieve that goal. It was Albert Einstein who said, strive not to be a success, but to be of value. These may sound like lofty goals, and we're all looking for what many call that work-life balance. There's more focus than ever on spending time with family, getting outside into nature, meditation, and overall caring for self. And I couldn't agree more. But I like to look at work-life balance a bit differently. Look for balance, period. Look for balance, period. Isn't work a part of your life? Your work will bring you joy, satisfaction, and pride. 
If your work doesn't fulfill you, you will never have balance. If you put one against the other, one is always going to win and one is always going to lose. To balance your life, you want to show up where you're needed most and be fully present. It might be a business meeting, but it might be a child's play, a parent's anniversary, a friend's father's funeral. Be where your priorities take you, without worry about what others will think or without worry about disturbing a delicate balance. There will be times in your life, days, weeks, months, sometimes even years, where one will take on more focus than the other. A new job, new responsibilities, a new addition to your family. But to artificially separate work and life is just not realistic and will not bring a life that's powered by your purpose. The way to balance work and life is to regard them similarly. Work is not just the time spent in an office or an organization, but the time spent striving for happiness and working hard to get there. You work on your career, but you also work on your home, your family, and your relationships. All relationships are work, at least mine are. Success in all those areas should bring happiness and inspiration, and that will energize you to succeed wherever you are. Simon Snack, a British inspirational speaker said, and this resonates with me, working hard for something we don't care about is called stress. Working hard for something we love is called passion. As you close on this chapter of your life, there should be immense pride in your accomplishments, as well as a recognition that learning is lifelong. Stay close to your friends and mentors. They will continue to challenge and inspire you. The world may appear uncertain at times, and there will always be challenging headwinds, but you are about to play an enormous role in improving the world we live in today. You have already proved that fear will not disable you and that you have the courage to face the unknown. You have been tested by adversity, the truest test of your strength and ability. So congratulations and may you go boldly together and pursue work that adds meaning to your life and may you all find communities that contribute to your success. Thank you so much, Dr. Ducharme, for your example, for your inspiration. I agree with you 150%. The last two years have made our graduates so much more stronger, and they will go out and change the world. At this point in the ceremony, we pay tribute to the class celebrating and remembering its own special graduation day, the 50th anniversary class Will the members of the class of 1972 please rise as you are able. I invite the audience to join me in recognizing those members of the Golden Anniversary class who are present here today. Thank you so much for your attendance at today's ceremony. You now once again can be seated. At this time, I would like to ask Alfred Betancourt and the class of 1972 to come forward for remarks. Mr. Betancourt. Thank you, President Sanchez. On behalf of the class of 1972, congratulations to the class of 2022. It's hard for me to believe that it was 50 years ago that I graduated from Rhode Island College. I have a degree from each of the state colleges, but I'm particularly fond of Rhode Island College. My sister, my daughter, and my son-in-law are graduates of Rhode Island College. When I gave my commencement speech 50 years ago as the president of the class, I quoted Robert Kennedy, who said, some people look at things as they are and say, why? 
I dream of things that never were and say, why not? I went on to say, have a world free of poverty, ignorance, disease, and law, why not? Well, that didn't work out too well. But today, I would like to quote another Kennedy. In his inaugural address, President Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Throughout my political career, I was a presidential appointee in the Reagan and Bush administration in the Department of Agriculture, and I'm a current appointee in USDA under the Biden administration. I subscribe to the motto, I may disagree with what you say, but I will defend with my life your right to say it. Now that might be a slight exaggeration. Thank you. It seems to me today that the motto is, it's my way or the highway. Politics is above country. In some instances, I've heard people say, I don't even want to hear what the other side has to say. They need to take a page from the Rhode Island College debate team. My late friend Gary Hennessy and I were on the debate team. Whenever we went to a debate meet, we knew what the issue would be, but we did not know if we were going to take the positive side or the negative side. So we had to learn both sides of the issue. President Ronald Reagan and House Speaker Tip O'Neill were political adversaries, but at the end of the day, they would get together and have a drink and swap some jokes. When Senator Bob Dole passed away recently, he was remembered as being a politician who could cross the aisle and get things done. Orrin Hatch had the same reputation. So what can you do for your country? At least listen to what the other side has to say. Let's put America first and politics second. Once again, on behalf of the class of 1972, Once again, on behalf of the class of 1972, congratulations on your graduation, and I hope you get as much as your from your education as I got from mine. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bencourt. You and the members of the class of 1972 will remain a special part of this college as a lasting tribute to the class of 1972 and to welcome you back on your return visit to campus, I am pleased to announce that a plaque bearing your class year will be placed at the Mount Pleasant Avenue entrance to campus. At this time, I would like to ask Casey Boglin, president of the class of 2022, to come forward for her farewell remarks. Casey. Good morning, class of 2022. Friends, family, fellow alumni, those here physically, and those here in spirit. Wow, we made it here. We are here at the Dunkin' Donuts Center after one of the most adventurous journeys of our lives. You have all made it here today despite a pandemic, online classes, advising mishaps, and any personal matter to cross your path. We are here, we made it. The Rhode Island College class of 2022 are innovators. We have collectively raised more money for our senior class gifts than the classes of 2020 and 2021 combined. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we have reached more donors and secured enough funds to help the students following in our footsteps. Members of this class have worked with Capitol Hill, made prominent headlines, created events, manifested new techniques and theories, and have already been accepted into high-ranking positions, among so many other things. This class is one that will enter the workforce with diligence, aspiration, and pure hearts. One of the most inspiring women to cross my college path told me, Rick is nothing without the students. You are the heart of this school. 
If only I could mimic the exact way she said these words. They hit a lot differently when you see the skills and capability of all of these students. Thank you, each and every single one of you, for being able to teach each other what classes could not. Patience, understanding, compassion, and solidarity. No matter where we end up, and although we are all unique, we are all tied together as a part of Anchor Nation. From myself, as well as the fellow executive board, congratulations on making it here, and congratulations on this milestone. I'm hope it's, I hope it's one that will last with you forever, and I can't wait to see your faces again at our golden anniversary. Thank you so much, Casey, for those words on behalf of the class of 2022. We thank you for your service to the class and to the college and wish you very well. I also thank you and all the members of the graduate class for your class gift and for your commitment to Rhode Island College. As a lasting tribute to the class of 2022 and to welcome you back on your return to visits to campus, I am pleased to announce as well that the class of 2022's plaque, which has been on display on the quad, will be moved to the gates at the Fruit Hill Avenue entrance to campus. We will now have remarks by Mr. Michael Smith, class of 1979, the president of the Rhode Island College Alumni Association. Mr. Smith. Thank you, President Sanchez. Graduates, please rise. I bring you greetings from the Rhode Island College Alumni Association which represents over 67,000 living alumni from all 50 states and every continent on Earth except Antarctica. On behalf of the Alumni Association and by virtue of the conferral of your Rhode Island College degree, I hereby induct you into the Rhode Island College Alumni Association and leave you with this thought. In the future, your degree will be only as strong as the college that awarded it. Please support and advance Rhode Island College with your time, treasure, talent, and as you have demonstrated, your indomitable spirit. Become active alumni and show your pride in this historic institution. Together with those from the past in whose footsteps you followed today, and with special gratitude to the members of the golden anniversary class of 1972 who are with us today, each of you now join all alumni in helping to ensure that Rhode Island College will be strong for those who follow you. Best wishes and congratulations to each and every one of you. Please be seated. Thank you, Mr. Smith. And now, as a prelude to the conferral of degrees of the 168th commencement at Rhode Island College, I invite Lillian Bretsky, Samantha Cello, Bruxana Pierre, and William Peterson back to the podium who will lead us in the singing 
of the college alma mater. Many thanks to our student vocalists and the Rhode Island College Wind Ensemble, conducted by Professor Joseph Foley. Their presence really does make today's ceremony, absolutely, does make this ceremony complete and showcases the incredible talent at Rhode Island College. And now, what we've really all been waiting for, as a comprehensive As a comprehensive public institution, Rhode Island College is proud to offer degrees at the baccalaureate, master's, and doctoral level, which will serve critical workforce needs that benefit the state and the nation. At this time, we'll have the presentation of candidates, distribution of diplomas, and conferral of degrees at the doctoral level, beginning with the Doctor of Philosophy of Education, a program that is offered jointly by Rhode Island College and the University of Rhode Island. The first PhD in this program was awarded at Rhode Island College 23 years ago, and it was the first ever doctoral degree conferred by this institution. Because this is a joint program, the diploma bears the names, seals, and signatures of the presidents of both institutions. By custom, the degree is conferred at the commencement ceremony of the institution at which the doctoral candidate's major advisor serves as faculty member. And now I invite Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Helen Tate, to come forward. At this time, at this time, I ask the major advisors of the doctoral candidate being presented this morning to prepare to escort the candidates to the stage. Candidates, after being hooded, you may exit the floor via the rear entrance and meet your friends and family on the concourse floor. Dean Dingus Eason, Dean of the Feinstein School of Education and Human Development, will join the major advisors in the hooding. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy in Education please rise?
President Sanchez, I am pleased to pre present to you, on behalf of the faculties at Rhode Island College and the University of Rhode Island, the following candidates who have qualified in all respects for the Doctor of Philosophy in Education degree. Ch Chiquita K. Baylor. Karen L. Capobianco. <laughs> Kyle N. Kamush. <laughs> Maria Michio Raposo. Kristen R. Pepin and Brian Stevens. By virtue of the authority vested in the presidents of Rhode Island College and the University of Rhode Island, and with the concurrent action of the faculties of Rhode Island College and the University of Rhode Island, and by the Rhode Island Board of Education, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education with all of its associated rights, privileges, and honors. I present you with your diplomas and cause you to be vested with the insignia of the degree. Chiquita K. Baylor escorted by Leslie Bogad, has successfully defended her dissertation entitled, I See You, Centering the Lived Experiences of Collegiate Black Women Engaged in Activism. Congratulations. Karen L. Capobianco, <laughs> escorted by Stefan Battle, <clears throat> has successfully defended her dissertation entitled MSW Graduates Process of Readiness for the Social Work Field. Congratulations. Gamash, escorted by Marie Lynch, has successfully defended his dissertation entitled The Bolstering Effects of Psychological Capital on Community College Students. Congratulations. Maria Machuo Raposo, escorted by Janet Johnson, has successfully defended her dissertation entitled Exploring the Experiences and Motivations of Women Who Lead and Engage Change Work in Their Home Institutions. Congratulations. <laughs> Kristen R. Pepin, escorted by her husband, Michael Pepin, adjunct faculty member of health and physical education at Rhode Island College, and her advisor, Paul LaCava, has successfully defended her dissertation entitled, An Interpretive Phenomenological Study of Undergraduate Student Wellness, Exploring Generation Z Student Wellness Experiences During the COVID-19 Pandemic. Brian Stevens, escorted by Leslie Bogad, has successfully defended his dissertation entitled Gatekeepers and Access Agents, How Admissions Officers Understand Their Roles in Shaping College Access in the 21st Century Market for Higher Education. Congratulations.
please join me in congratulating all of our new graduates earning Doctor of Philosophy in Education degrees. President Sanchez, now I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree. At this time, I ask the major advisors of the doctoral candidate being presented this afternoon to prepare to escort candidates to the stage. Dean Carolyn Masters, Dean of the Onanian School of Nursing, will join the major advisors in the hooding. Candidates, after being hooded, you may exit the floor via the rear entrance and meet your friends and family on the concourse floor. Will the candidates for Doctor of Nursing Practice degree please rise? President Sanchez, I'm pleased to present to you, on behalf of the graduate faculty, the following candidates who have qualified in all respects for these degrees. Elizabeth Marie Butler, Paula M. Gellner, Lori B. Kasher, Yatundi O. Shitsu, Darlene M. Simas. By virtue of the authority vested in me and with the concurrent action of the faculty of Rhode Island College and the Rhode Island Board of Education, I do hereby confer upon you the Doctor of Nursing Practice with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Elizabeth Marie Butler, escorted by Cindy Padula, has successfully presented her final project entitled Implementing Palliative Care Referrals for Patients Being Discharged from Hospice Services, a Quality Improvement Project. Congratulations. Paula M. Gellner, escorted by Justin DeLibro, has successfully presented her final project entitled Factors Contributing to Turnover Among Critical Care Nurses During the Transition to Practice Period. Congratulations. Lori B. Kasher, escorted by Linda Mendoza, has successfully presented her final project entitled The Role of the School Nurse in Identifying and Mitigating Anxiety Among School-Aged school Children. Congratulations. Yatundi O. Shitu, escorted, escorted by Margaret Mock, has successfully presented her final project entitled A Multidisciplinary Intervention to Improve Hepat Hepatocellular Carcinoma Screening in Veterans with Advanced Liver Disease. Congratulations. Darlene M. Simas, escorted by Justin DeLibro, has successfully presented her final project entitled Evaluation of Causes, Contributing Factors, and Potential Solutions to Medication Errors. Congratulations. Please join me in congratulating 
all of our new graduates are earning Doctor of Nursing practice degrees. President Sanchez, I now have the honor to present the candidates of 2022 for the Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study, the Master of Science in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, and the Master of Social Work. Will the candidates please rise? <laughs> President Sanchez, these candidates who have completed all program requirements are recommended to you by the faculty of Rhode Island College and by the Rhode Island Board of Education. By virtue of the authority vested in me and with the concurrent action of the faculty of Rhode Island College and the Rhode Island Board of Education, I do hereby confer upon you the Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study Master of Science in Clinical Mental Health Counseling and the Master of Social Work degrees with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Will the candidates for the Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study and Master of Science in Counseling please come forward. I ask that all candidates please be seated until you are called upon to proceed to the stage. At this time, I ask Dr. Janine Dingus Eason, Dean of the Feinstein School of Education and Human Development, to step forward for the purpose of assisting in the hooding of candidates for the Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study and Master of Science in Counseling. Leslie Schuster, Dean of Graduate Studies, will read the names of candidates. Candidates, after being hooded, you may exit the floor via the rear entrance and meet your friends and family on the concourse floor. Nicholas P. Pagano. Mm. John La Lorenco. Mm. Samantha Camardo. Alexandra Connell. Dawn Dirkley. Lisa Afonso Leans. Jordan Plant. Kaylee Garibaldi. <laughs> Laura Jean Marola. Natasha Salas. <laughs> Melissa N. Lavender. I know. Jacqueline Dory LaForce. Julia Colombo. Hi. It's not. 
Derek C. Lacey. Olawa Fumibi Yusuf. Nicholas R. Africo. Judith Lettusma. <laughs> Iviana Anolikin. Kristen Weikendor. Jamie R. Gutierrez. Willie W. Boykar. Congratulations. <laughs> Daniel Alfonso Molina. I now ask Dr. Joshuri Nimagata, Dean of the School of Social Work, to step forward. Candidates of 2022 for the Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Masters of Professional Accountancy, and Master of Science, please rise by virtue of the authority vested in me and with the concurrent action of the faculty of Rhode Island College and the Rhode Island Board of Education. I confer upon those of you who have completed the appropriate requirements, the advanced degrees for which you are qualified with all of their associated rights, privileges, and honors. Audrey Kirkland. Shaylin. Shorter. Bianca Dutra. Ryan Vogel. Angelina Dowell. Colleen McKenna. Nancy Cancel. Elizabeth Brennan Messier. Stacy Hill. Issei Chalice Maldonado. Congratulations. She's ready? Yeah. Talia Jackson. <laughs> Ryan Cochran. Katie Bailey. Josepha 
Nicole Vidal. Thank you so much. Allery Fernandez. Holly Michelle De Silva. Logan England. Dora Betancourt. Peyton Judge. Congratulations. Daniela Gonzalez Roja. Lydia Bennett. Brian Ocampo. So excited for you. Sarah Hartman. Oscar Gonzalez. Laura Gomes. Wilmer Urena. Michael Brand. Raisa Rodriguez. Parage Span. Evelyn Trigueros. Congratulations. Ashley Austin. Christopher Ray Mohammed. Anake in Eve. Danya Sabet. <laughs> Kyle Alero. Michelle Rivera. Sabrina Estrella. Amanda Moran. Sienna Golden. Emily McCarthy. April Daly. Giselle Baez. Kobe Brady. Casey Masafitz. Masafitz. Sarah Hannigan. Susan Pacheco. Nolan Ross. Jennifer Kennis. <laughs> Laura Fidrich. <laughs> you are so sweet. Caitlin Kramer. Molly Sullivan. Hannah St. Jane. Congratulations, Maya. Rose Guriabi. <laughs> Maya Sunderland. 
Jennifer Montoya. Natalie Rosa. Brianna Dixon. Tara Gina Rowe. Shanta Bryan. Evan McNamee. Francis Cruz. Congratulations. Danielle Marie Starkey. Nicole Seneschal. Jennifer Martel. Gloria Benitez. Malaysia King. Alcida Adam. Jason Chattel. Christine Marel Borelli. Congratulations. Sarah Jacobs. Natalia Nardi. Let's have one final round of applause for all of our master's graduates. Congratulations. I now invite Provost Tate to return to the podium. At this time, I ask. President Sanchez, I now have the honor to present the candidates of 2022 for master's degrees from Rhode Island College in the following disciplines. Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Professional Accountancy, Master of Science. Will the candidates for these master's degrees please rise? President Sanchez, I'm pleased to present to you, on behalf of the graduate faculty, the candidates who have qualified in all respects for the aforementioned degrees. Candidates of 2022 for the Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Masters of Education, Master of Professional Accountancy, and Master of Science, please rise by the virtue of the authority vested in me and with the concurrent action of the faculty of Rhode Island College and the Rhode Island Board of Education, I confer upon those of you who have completed the appropriate requirements, the advanced degrees for which you are qualified with all of their rights, privileges, and honors. At this time, I ask that the designated deans and members of the dais to step forward to assist with diploma distribution. Dean Schuster and Dr. Shadoyan will read the names of candidates. After receiving your diploma cases, you may exit the floor via the rear entrance and meet your friends and family on the concourse floor. Erica E. Wynn. <laughs> Kellyanne O'Connell. 
Ashanti Stevens, Ruth Afalean, Daniel A. Kupoyan, Camille Oliveira. Roberto Vargas Tapia, Miranda M. Jacobone, Sandrith Perez, Selena T. Gibbs, Lauren E. Pires, Nilsa Jimenez, Jimenez, Chris Marie Hernandez. Jenna Batez, Kevin A. Perez, <laughs> Leslie Angel, I can do that. Diana J. Wilby, oh. Fatima Tobar, Ashley Susan Narducci, Amalfi Rosario, Kate LaRoche. Christopher S. Allen. Alexandra Peterman. Danielle DiQuattro. Sarah J. Ray. Kimberly Gomez. Kenneth John Salhaney. John Joseph Bresnahan. Sophia E. Kachmarzik. Vanessa L. Diaz. Jessica Zurowell. Emiel Castillo. Valerie A. Wagnack. Brendan Downey. Kaylee Keo. Alyssa I. Haggerty. Kimberly Ann McKay. Gabriella Lee Federici. Oh. <laughs> Alyssa Tierney. Bethsali Carpio. <laughs> Kaylina Lottie. <laughs> Justina L. Barlow. Haley C. Gattinella. Nadia E. Nida. Deirdre K. McDonald. Amanda Crawley, Michelle Barris, Tara J. Hustler, Michael Rogovin, Susie S. Santos, Phyllis Trelli, Crystal L. Furman, Princess Garrett, Brianna Stiegel. Genevieve Medina. Brittany C. Pazinski. Swati P. Shah. Carly Ogushowitz. Hekni Jose. James R. Cook. Jenea N. Bennett. Danya Hadi. Sarah J. Wilson. More Morgan Elizabeth. Chase A. Baptista. Catherine R. Plumer. Tamara Garlington. Melissa J. Ruggieria. Lisa M. Hoopus. Sydney Taylor Medberry. Tanya Creamer. Courtney A. Aslan. Julia L. Testa. Yeah. Dustin J. A Tortolani. Sorry. Allery S. Maiello Sertulo. Rosie P. Ock. Courtney Formica. Court King. Jake Cardello, 
Matthew Kohler. Monica L. Gonzalez Figuerera. Catherine Ann O'Keefe. Richard W. Sandella. Heidi Nicole Cahill. Alyssa Graham. Elizabeth M. Medbury. Destiny L. Henderson. Kine Endoe. Shannon Babel. Ariel W. Lee. Audrey L. Miguel. Andrew Fournier. Rabia Basher. Hello. Patricia Almeida Bokowski. Brianna Monique Hudgens. Keith I. Chamberlain. Let's have one final round of applause for all of our master's graduates. Congratulations. And now I'm by Provost Tate returned to the podium. This is a time of celebration for the candidates and for their families. I know that our faculty joins me in congratulating our students and in expressing our pride in them. In your program booklet, you will note that certain graduates have earned various honors during their academic career at the college. Listed are Latin honors for students graduating with high grade point averages, special departmental awards, and notation for those who are presidential scholars. And there are indications of those who have participated in other honorary programs. Students graduating with Latin honors are entitled to wear honor cords. President Sanchez, it is my privilege to introduce the deans who on behalf of their faculty will recommend to you the conferment of baccalaureate degrees indicating successful completion of studies. Dr. J. Nimagata, Interim Dean of the School of Social Work, will present candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Social Work. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Social Work degree please stand? Go social workers, you rock. President Sanchez, I have the honor to present the class of 2022 candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Social Work. Those candidates who have completed all requirements for the degree are recommended to you by the faculty and by the Rhode Island Board of Education. Candidates, you may now sit. Please remain at your seat until directed to come forward by the marshals. Congratulations, social work graduates. Dr. Carolyn Masters, Dean of the Onanian School of Nursing, will present candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree please stand? President Sanchez, I have the honor to present the class of 2022 candidates for the degree of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Those candidates who have completed all requirements for the degree are recommended to you by the faculty and by the Rhode Island Board of Education. Please sit. 
Dr. Janine Dingas Eason, Dean of the Feinstein School of Education and Human Development, will present candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Will the candidates for baccalaureate degrees within the Feinstein School of Education and Human Development please stand? President Sanchez, I have the honor to present the class of 2022 candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science within the Feinstein School of Education and Human Development. Those candidates who have completed all requirements for the degrees are recommended to you by the faculty and by the Rhode Island Board of Education. At this time, Dr. Alima Kareem, Interim Dean of the School of Business, will present candidates for baccalaureate degrees within the school. Will the candidates for baccalaureate degrees within the School of Business please stand? <laughs> President Sanchez, I have the honor to present the class of 2022 candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Those candidates who have completed all requirements for the degree are recommended to you by the faculty and by the Rhode Island Board of Education. <laughs> candidates, you may sit. Please remain at your seat until directed to come forward by marshals. Dr. Earl Simpson, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, will present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees within the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. Sorry. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees within the Faculty of Arts and Sciences please stand? President Sanchez, I have the honor to present the class of 2022 candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Science within the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. Those who have completed all requirements for the degrees are recommended to you by the faculty and by the Rhode Island Board of Education. Now for the moment that our undergraduate candidates and their guests have been waiting for. Will all of the baccalaureate degree candidates of the class of 2022 please stand? Candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, 
bachelors of fine arts, bachelors of music, bachelors of nursing, bachelor of science, bachelor of social work. As the president of Rhode Island College, by virtue of the authority vested in me, and with the concurrent action of the faculty of Rhode Island College and the Rhode Island Board of Education, I confer upon those of you who have completed the appropriate requirements, the degrees with which you are qualified, with all of their associated rights, privileges, and honors. Please get, join me in giving all of our graduates a big round of applause. Finally, as a symbol of the conferment and in recognition of becoming a new Rhode Island College graduate, all degree recipients, please move your tassel from the right to the left as you cross the stage. I now invite Provost Tate to return to the podium to direct diploma distribution. At this time, we will have our graduates cross the stage to receive your diploma cases. Please remain at your seat until directed to come forward by marshals. After you receive your diploma cases, you may exit the floor via the rear entrance and meet your friends and family on the concourse level. I now inv invite Dr. Diem, Dr. Becker, Dr. Battle, and Dean Nimagata to come forward to assist with diploma distribution for the Bachelor of Social Work graduates. Elisa Tortolani. Jessica Dance Arrow. Alexandra Silva. Anna Alves. Marissa Souza. Sarah Lang Lois. Genesis Murillo. Emily Hirschman. Jennifer Penafiel. Carrie Giacomini. Savannah Telmage. Michael Bossy. Kara Williams. Emma Kintner. Aaron Pastrana. Guadalupe Chavez. Brianna Agramonte. Emily Chadbourne. Hazer Vasquez Reyes. Leslie Urizar. Ismaili Garcia Martinez. Elizabeth D. Machado. Marissa Peralt. Solange Mello. Brianna Rooney. Lois Johnson. Christy Bernier. Vita Amuzu. Matthew Scungio. <laughs> Janiel Garcia. Eileen Sutton. Geraldine Urena. <laughs> Teresa Rigo. <laughs> Kelsey Brayall. 
Rebecca Packard. Emily Couture. Emily O'Connell. Hi. Lauren Holly. Kristen Parrish. Ricky Guerrero. Madison McDonald. Victoria Gowdy. Julissa Perez Munoz. Andrea Barbosa Cole. Yvonne Montero. Hey. Teresa Aguirre Cabrera. Congratulations. Brittany La Cordera. <laughs> Ayana Maderos. Michael Tebow. Stephanie Ovalis. Nicholas Layden. Jebediah Fontaine. Nicole Ortiz. Emilia Kwame. Kimberly Bejo. Paula Cavanaugh. Stephen Pina. Delta Ayers McKay. Megan Methot. <laughs> Amanda Pellegrino. I now invite Dr. Galloway, Dr. Shadoyan, Dr. Hetzel and Dean Masters to come forward to assist with diploma distribution for Master of Science in Nursing graduates. Bachelors of Science? Bachelors. Yeah, I'm sure I read it wrong. <laughs> Laura Martin. Lauren Russo. Haley A. Bucco. Brianna St. Pierre. Olivia C. Clark. Ingrid Ruiz Gutierrez. Ariel H. Comey. Madison Sariva. Sarah Leandro. Daphne Constant. <laughs> Megan McCarthy. Cameron D. Sharon. Abigail Ritchie. Molly Cosma. Emily Watson. Amanda Estrella. Diane Capri Thomas. Victoria Marie Costa. Sakta Srai. Megan M. Mahan. Amanda Perez. Rachel Peener. Mackenzie Ribeiro. Kelsey Ferreira. Leslie Montesino. Emily L. Caetano. 
Carla Vieira. Kelsey J. Gonzalez. Ulysses McAlpine. Richmond Boda E. Jimfrey. Gaila Tamup Noriega. Elijah Michael M. Burgess. Esmeralda Tamup Noriega. Megan Connolly. Nice. Sarah Brown. Daniel T. Kennedy. Ashley Normandine. Yoleni E. Escobedo. <laughs> Ernest Parker. Carissa Ducheney. Brianna Mullen. Madeline M. Hopkins. Marwa Mohammed. Samantha J. Hunt. Yep. Kevin Alvarez. Natalie Rivera. Jasmine T. Lindsay. Arvinia Sambunmi. Deborah Firmino. <laughs> Olivia C. Wachuku. Yep, Mahia. Yep. Marilyn Mahia. Jacob J. Luis. H Homa Sultan. Nicole D'Souza. Isabella Ferreira. Madison Lynch. <laughs> Rosaline de Oliveira. Kylie Zolano. Yes. Patrice Marie Turnipseed. Rilda Sequeira. Madison Hennessy McNally. Shawnee. Shawnee Polanco. Michaela Mello. Marie I. De Silva. Naomi Rivard. Jalessa DeLugo. Sadie Patterson. Janelle Gomez. Madison Martin. Vanessa Poku. Great hat. Selena Madeiras. Amber Remy. Alexis Troopy. Jessica Lynn McCormick. Wairimo Why, Karaoke. Oh, I'm just yet. Okay. Is it Kelly? Kelly Vigliotti. Jayana Green. Okay. Catherine Sears. Lisa Agari. Yeah. Selena Oliveira. Bernice A. Poku. Madison Pont. Maria Fernandez. Jennifer Shardlow. Sam. Wendy San. Thank you. Thank you. I now invite Dr. August, Dr. Shadoyan, Dr. Lakava, and Dean Dingus Eason to come forward to assist with diploma distribution for the baccalaureate graduates within the Feinstein School of Education and Human Development.
Shane E. Jakonski. Christina Lemoy. Catherine DeLava. Georgia E. Testa. Emily Giuliani. Tori R. Toby. Melissa N. Durfee. Sarah J. Lowell. Michael D. Pasquale. Leah Souza. Amber Wainwright. Cassandra Perez. Sarah M. Proctor. Olivia K. Lowe. Natalie Kulesi. Destiny Zapeta. Samantha Carrera. Then how are you? Sophia L. Montanaro. Ryan Fleming. Kara C. Sanders. Alexis D. Guglielmo. Rhea Lafort. Katie M. Johnson. Karen J. Torres. Sadie E. Bennett. Meredith J. Whitaker. Chanel Cottages. Norelli Ortega. Bruna R. Carvalho. Matthew Lubin. Susan Gaborio. Jessica L. Alves. Tracy L. Jones. Lena J. Loza. Angelina Elizabeth Filpo Feliz. Samantha A. Thomas. Juliana Esposito. Tessa D. Walker. Samantha M. Evola. Jolie Rouleau. Cueto. Angel B. Cueto. Quinn Morvillo. Daniela S. De La Cruz. Jenna Pizzi. Sydney Duffney. Nicarlis Medina. Paige A. Ellis. Tracy C. Pereira. Michelle A. Bullock. Haley Pennington. Shana E. Cousineau. Michaela Szymanski. Sarah E. Hunt. Sylvia Velez. Carrie I. Breton. Jacob Mador. Aaron G. DeVivo. Patrice Patience E. Waring. Alita Bartel. Cindy Ramos. Cameron A. Labrie. Brittany O'Donnell. Kyle T. Lavoy. Dania Villa Ferrero. Jenna M. Anthony. Sarah Dow. Jasmine M. De Silva. Allison Kleinbrell. Alessandra R. Domenico. Savannah R. Bissett. Nor A. Hodroj. Madison P. McKenna. Megan Clark. Congratulations. Melanie Jimenez. Emma C. DeRozier.
Isabella K. Palumbo. Megan Collette. Deandra Del Senor. Karen Morocco. Chantel Orellana. Erica N. Bryan. Brianna Smith. Brielle Blaze. Monica E. Cabral. Jack Clancy. Alexandria A. Monte Montegano. Riley Murphy. Lindsay A. Sweet. Allison F. Carpenter. Ranieri Rosario Tavera. Kelly Lambrizi. Gianna M. Paul. Diana Enriquez Rodriguez. Benak Ruram. Jennifer Contreras. Hannah R. Shea. Valeria Reyes. J. Leah Plant. Haley Starodumsky. Genesis Munoz. Nathan G. Barnett. Miguel Madeira. Matthew Thibodeau. Sierra N. Stewart. Richard J. Brown. Alexis Maria Goucher. Nicholas Coppola. Emily M. Levake. Matthew D. Grenier. Casey Mochler. Tyler M. Calabro. Laura N. Palmer. Gregory M. Wellington. Vanessa Ramos Garcia. Samantha H. Gowdy. Hillary G. Molvig. Hannah P. Kuprovich. Christiana M. Stravato. <laughs> Heather D'Souza Rosa. Michelle Marie Sutcliffe. Christine Equitani. Christopher A. Thompson. Brianna M. Hebert. Christy A. McDonald. Shannon Babula. Haley E. LaRue. Catherine Rivera. Ashley M. DiPietro. Taylor Oliveira. Megan Duby. I now invite Dr. Satsiolu, Dr. Shadoyan, Dr. Wise, and Dean Karim to come forward to assist with diploma distribution for baccalaureate graduates within the School of Business.
Luis Francisco, Jr. Alex Ortiz. Arthea L. Degnall. Michael R. Kane. Palumi A. Adelson. Nina Susanna Lorenzo. Ryan W. Degnan. Jorge Richard L. Scott Medeiros. Jorge L. Guzman. Ibrahim S. Torre. Boguslawa Grayback. Jeffrey Purat. Maceo Feliz Jimenez. Erica M. Pontonio. Nehemiah Bon Ani. Kaylee L. McConnell. Angela De Silva. Ashley Palm Suan. Wilhelmina N. Aguiman. Nicole Vanessa Rios. Alexandra D. Larson. Whitney A. Medeiros. Olivia Carpenito. Mamadou Torre. Alexia Goncalo. Alexandra Christine Wilson. Juliana Glick. Alexander A. Torres. Noah D. Furtado. Laura Salazar. <laughs> Taylor M. Carberry. Eileen Velez. Camiris N. Castro. Johanly Rodriguez. Caddy Mejia. Elliot L. Vadney. Austin Gibbs. Joshua Mercado. Capria Fayela. Selena R. Nasser. Christopher J. Rivera. Kaylee Luchka. Chen Razme Kem. Nicola M. Petrucci. Pebbles Cortez. Congratulations. Erica J. Smith. Emily A. Balargian. Stephen Pham. Zachary Lima. Kevin Matos. Olivia L. Horman. Henry M. Pacheco. Taylor DeChico. Alexandra Stoklosa. Philip Anthony Jessup. Anthony Turqueta Jr. Sid Unelis Guadalupe. Brittany A. Radcliffe. Crystal Figueroa. Tyler C. Santos. Jasmine Garcia. Oliver I. Semeth. Lady I. Diaz. Amanda E. Souza. Anya Stimson. Cherry Pellin. Macasia German. Mitchell J. Unsworth. David Holtz. Stephanie Lorenko. Peyton Ferreira. Alexandra Rodriguez. Delsari Almonte. Paula Rodriguez Jimenez. Rafaela Dillenbach. Anthony Vitali. 
Chelsea L. Dechara. Congratulations. Michael Osandu. Jesus Hernandez. Noah R. Men Menard. Amanda C. Bentham. Dylan Tashian. Flora Liliana Cintron. Ronald Volpe. Karina Estrada. Connor J. Makina. Prudence Lasamba Caninda Badoma. Laura L. Velasquez. Angelita Laura. Brian M. Villafuerte. Delira E. Sedano. Robert M. Riviera. Alejandro Cortez. Paul Andrade. David S. Almeida. Angela A. Morales Travis Travieso. Ryan A. Galveo. Congratulations. Camila Wall. Espana or Espana? Kevin M. Espana. Congratulations. Benjamin R. Russo. Ashley Green. Jillian Zayat. Elinette Hernandez. Congratulations. Xiao Yu. Kyle R. Demaris. Congratulations. Jeff Sifuentes. Fallon B. Davis. Sayumi C. Tani. Kerry Convertido. Rolanda Portpa. Fetaya Larry. Katrina Kazin. Jerry Chiriza. Adriana M. Solano. Marcella M. Celine Rodriguez. Yvette Adames. Steven Perez. Alyssa Mond. Kevin Figueredo. Diane M. Uat. Yasiri Alejandro Munoz Tisla. Catherine N. Tabares. Brittany Walsh. A. C. Hula. Jodney Medor. Rodrigo Tejada. Benjamin Vezele. I now invite Dean Schuster, Dr. Shadoyan, Associate Dean Daigle, and Dean Simpson to assist with diploma distribution for the baccalaureate graduates within the Faculty of Arts and Sciences.
I have first. Even better. Five and three. Oh, you're ready. Let's see. I know you're pink. Lillian I. Britsky. Brian, Brian K. Goodhart. Samantha L. Cello. Casey Boglin. William M. K. Pedersen. Alexis R. Chopak. Roxana F. Pierre. Deborah Ochoa. Olivia Aguiar. Christopher Hines. Elise Ayers. Vanessa Sanchez. Lizbeth Garcia. Kimberly Schmidt. Cassandra O. Ayensu. Jaidi Parr. Ethan Philip DeBasio. Benny A. Rodriguez. Jessica Leet. Ava Samaritino. Madeleine Gonzalez. Francis X. Smith. Brittany Iovino. Jacqueline Nexop. Celia Finucci. Morgan K. Pacheco. Timothy Alban. Dylan M. Martin. Caitlin Farrell. Keith Toast. Yanelsi Cepeda. Quinn Tucker. Joseph Henry McCourt. Suzette E. Hernandez. Samantha R. Moriera. Sarah Corneau. Casey T. Williams. Eden J. Anthony. Diona Rodriguez Mendez. <clears throat> Olivia E. Jordan. Alejandro Martinez. <coughs> Marco Di Benedetto. Congratulations. Anna I. Valdez. Aaron T. Lidecker. Carolyn Niehoff. Matthew J. Kravitz. Corey J. Scunza. Gabriella A. Costantini. Jose B. Orellano Sanchez. Valerie R. Elliott. Megan A. McGregor. Isabella Lopez. Miguel Martinez Guzman. Yovan I. Diaz. Rachel Tessera. Zoe D'Souza. Alexander P. Sproig. Braylon Frias. Alyssa Ale Karen Mazula. Diego A. Gomez. Hannah Rule. Caitlin Furland. Albert J. Suarez. Kira Garabedian. Jimmy B. Tan. Erica Cortez. Oh, nice. Neftali Navarro. Justin Michael Cardoso. Maya, Mia L. Metcalf. Soleil Garagaza. Alexis Von Moluski. Mackenzie A. Anderson. Oh. Dylan Shalafo. Amber Dixon. Mark A. Santilli. Jenna Kaiser. Jason Salambi. Haley L. Gayer. Aristide J. Romero. Courtney Marie DeCastro. Tracy E. Romero. Noah Rousseau. Cindy Boulier. Romeo R. Sarum. Emily M. Ferguson. John Marot.
Rosili Castillo. Savannah K. Whedon. Camilo Benitez. Cynthia Mayatang. Napoli Mia Figueroa. Ashley Minow. John B. Hennigan. Nicola J. Trahan. Adreshka Luciano. Sadie M. Ross. Christopher D. Curran. Madison Lambert Newberg. Emily C. Brennan. Juliana S. Goff. Hannah DeSantis. Samantha McEnany. Amy G. Korczynski. Carlos J. Florian. Haley Rose Coulter. Brianna M. Provost. Yasmin E. Arboleda. Stephen T. Greenier. Maria Fernanda Gonzalez. Brianna Liz Urizar. James Batista. Marissa Lynn Taroki. Xavier Green. Nicole L. Kraus. Lauren E. Cates. Eva Cortes-Latino. Sarah E. Mendez. Matthew Burns. Adriana Melgar. Christoph Nicholas Ciardi. Catherine Savinone. Alex Frias. Hector Gallegos. Ryan J. Bork. Ahmed M. Sean. Brianna Nair M. Aguiar. Gallagher. Brianna Ferreira. Luzanette Cortez. Melenia Rodriguez. Ariana M. Botello. Edward C. Mason. Sarah E. Heilman. Alexis Lavalli. Zara S. Guarcus. Monica Perez. Sean Quang. Alexa Murphy. Malina Cruz. Zachary Mark Lavalli. Ashlyn J. Del Bonus. Mia Ruspanti. Dominic G. Espinal. Wamo Mary Segrain. Jake H. Dubois. Nathaniel W. Taylor. Nicholas Bucci. Tyler C. Moniz. Satterloon Fevry. Aiden Mooney. Keila Batista. Kaylee Porrera. Michaela Bohorquez. Valeria Shalposhnik. Alexander Kouras. Marlena Silva. Isabella M. Katarina. Calcadon F. Tassima. Sean Michael Camara. Oh. Li Ping Zhang. Taylor Alexandra Green. Zachary Zavorskis. Julio J. Bagu. J.D. Zeeb. Stephanie Buto. Dylan J. Rodriguez. April A. Dean. Christian A. Main. Nicole Reese Drown. Danielle M. Tedesco. Denny Espinal. Jesse R. Michico. Amanda M. Carnavale. Casey Nolan. Emmanuel O. Adioti. Rode L. Rodriguez. Araya Jantawan. Sean M. Rainey Egan. 
Megan Boulier, Emily I. Rojas, Alexia M. Cabral, Genesis Orlano Cabrera, Alexa R. DeRamo, Eileen E. Rodriguez Jimenez, Rogelio Gonzalez, Haley St. Pierre, Will Gerard Red Devereaux, Nathan T. Veloso, Mitchell Borilski, Olivia A. Reels, James Erton, Brisha George, William Dew, Alicia nu Elka Nunez, Jocelyn M. Jalon Gomez, Renata Tejeda, Colin T. Godfrey, John McBurney, Jessica D. Bagley, Laura Londono, Madison Akui, David Lazenberry, Braden Fanti, Stephen Silagi, Georgina Farley, Victoria Maya, Caitlin Costa, Christopher and Zappa, Lindsay R. Coupland, Br Bruno Rabella, Sephora Desiree, Layla Mule Benassa, Danielle K. King. Perla Torres, Andrea Lundquist, Amy Vanover, Angelique Monterreo Folisade Cedina, Legia A. Zapata, Morgan E. Andrews, Carl Patton, Michael R. Andrews, Daniela Oliva Navarro. Linda McGee, I jumped in. Deborah Akinaber, Cassie Therian, Brianna M. Jones, Lindsay A. Travis, Arlette Deju Calixto, Alexis Chantel Palais, Alexis A. Agrella, Yolanda Grulon. Tematopi Palei, Nasha Trotman, Brenda Sue Hippolyte, Olivia Petrarca, Noah A. Karen, Christy Sittinger, Marissa Nicole Cushman, Colin A. Feeney. Jared R. Nobrego, Marlene Billiard, Olivia Merritt, Alessia L. Celsetti, Autumn Miss Jefferson, Brianna Limos, Caitlin Medeiros, Gabrielle K. Cruz, Amy Lynn Mayunir, Alejandra Caballero, Henry E. Mello Feliz, Caitlin H. Douglas, Alexis M. LaBelle, Sungmin G, Faith Olasune, Gianna Rose Bigelow, Casey Scanlon, Angel Brito. Elizabeth M. Smith, Robert Bird, Victoria L. Shaw, Colin R. Gauthier, Yara J. Venus Garcia, Lucas C. Del Savio, Abigail M. Moore, Daniel J. Costa, <laughs> Jamie R. Moretti, Kelly. Kylie De La Roca, Brianna Elaine Walsh, 
Enrique Greenwood, Caitlin A. Pella, Manuel Batista, Julia N. McAdams, Hannah Mae Fryer, Emily Elizabeth McGrady, Myra Lehman, Riley Langdo, Ango Cuadrado Sanchez, Victor M. Reynoso, Alexia L. Bulldog, Sopaka Photosin, Sarah Johnson, Daniel E. Richardson, Mamadou H. Diallo, Jamie Mahoney, Christopher J. Coates, Jr., Brady Tebow, Edgar Bryant, Caitlin M. Mello, Stephanie A. Hessman, Catherine Noel Pereira, Nancy V. Gamboa, okay. Neil Mokiza Machak, Priscilla Borley, Amy Elizabeth O'Brien, Kenya G. Castillo, uh -huh. Emanuela Perry, Molita Chan, Victoria Thresher, Caitlin Serena Gomez, Samantha Spaulding, Caitlin L. Worthen, Laura Ramirez, Ismail Espinal, Janice Torres, Elisa R. Kelleher, Naomi Vandersloot, Vanessa E. Gonzalez, Taylor Re. Taylor Lee Rigo, Logan Bogdansky, so easy, Brandon Potter, <laughs> Chelsea Milo, Fourth Buji, Ashley M. Vieira, Madison Pendergast. Brianna L. Mattis, Aiden Duffy, Yonara M. Alvarado, Julia Simaral, Christian B. Shadravan, Michael Elliott Rossi, Maciel De Jesus, Carissa M. Ulet. Desiree N. Santos, Jasmine Motoya, Taylor Morrison, Isabella M. Martin, Haley J. Levesque, Stephanie Luna Carasquillo, Salma Buhadi, Michelle Sylvester, Kylie Duarte Spiroff, Gregory A. Williams, Tammy M. Costa. Amotisem Babor. Alexandra M. Lilly. Emily M. DeLuca. Deanna Soto. Dorothy J. Dory. Tunji Omisori and Shelly Solomon. Allison A. Sabatieri. Fatima O. Lawal. Victoria Stromberg. Zariah T. Davis. So easy. Mary McBride. Victoria Cole. Ellis Garcia, Athena Sampolis, Nicole Kutu, Mara Perez, Haley Jasper, Amadele Ayton, 
Asia, 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 and Shay Natavong, Abigail Jean Gillis. You're welcome. Renzi's. Jessica M. Dodge, Sabrina D. Renzi's, Emily G. Vargas, Veronique McGrath. Morgan Head, Rebecca Smith, Avery Cooney, Brad M. Vaccaro, Alexis V. Mello, Mitchell A. Simos, Alyssa M. Fagundes, Tyrese Trotman, Anna Barros, Congrats. Jared Thaddeus Rose, Kaylee Coit, Daniel O'Donnell, Amanda V. Ferry, Matthew Russum, Courtney Albin, Justin K. Reynolds, Vanessa Marie DeCosta, Monica Masseron, Abdullah Ahmad, Diana DeVega, Alex J. Edmiston. Taylor Lucia. Michaela Connor. Amina Victorio Sabi. Bianca L. Duran. Emily R. Smith. Alexander Bork. Ashley Velasquez. Cameron L. Cacucci. Ellen J. Taylor. Christina L. Boudreau. Uh, Christian Lamoth. Victoria A. Furtado. Jenfrin Rodriguez. Shannon Frazeo. Ali uh, Il Syed. Lindsay J. Ashworth. Ariel Troncoso, Dylan Bowden, Emily Mayo, Irene Chawea, Angela S. Pierre Louise, Anise D. Gonzalez, Kayla E. Oliveira, Sirian J. Depine, Genesis Nunez Leonardo. Jennifer Ramirez Bermejo. London Sylvia. Maria Candel. Avery Samoka. Alexander G. Kalasian. Stephanie A. Page. Shannon Hurley. Gabriel L. Martinez. Rochelle Ferrier. Paige A. Levesque. Kathiana Garrison. Jennifer Vargas. Diana Clergiusti. Jessica Vargas. Bushra Toprat. Tyra J. Hargrove. Kelly Lapore. Darren Z. Harris. Julia Mir, Sarah Eberin, Cassandra Reese, Ivante V. Silver, Savannah D. McClure, Jake W. Douglas, Sydney C. Zek, Jennifer Barrios, Seven Stott. Florence Fabote, Angelica Martins, Andrew Kamara, Reese Ashley, Joyce Waniwala, Joshua W. Garcia, Peter Wilson, Asel Sat. Martin Lynn, Brittany Raposo, 
Andrew J. Lethbridge. Brittany Monique Pollock. Umana Oji. Kimberly Pelletier. Floralba Para. Ornella P. Livramento. Jalen. Jalen S. Ramirez. Dana Pico. Marlise Baptista. Lourdes Villanova. Caitlin Reno. Daisy M. Moreno Dos Santos. Michael C. Uzoma. Carlos A. Mendez. Chelsea Yang. Travis M. Manick. At the processional that began today's convocation, the Del Sesto Mace was carried by the chair of the Council of Rhode Island College, which represents the faculty and the staff of the college. The Mace will be carried in the recessional by the Alumni Association President Michael Smith. This tradition change of Mace Bear represents a symbolic passing on of responsibility from the faculty to the Alumni Association into which you have just been inducted. A ceremony of this magnitude cannot happen without the hard work of a commencement committee, including our marshals, assistants, countless others who made today possible. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. We ask audience members to now stand and remain standing until the recessional has concluded. Thank you all for hanging in there. Thank you. Please rise.